Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to part two of Autumn Leaves. My battery died at the bottom line right before the interlude, which fortunately we're almost done because the second verse is pretty much a repeat. The ending is a little different, but only because she repeats a line, but that's about it. So let me pick it up on the bottom line so where it says um, the D minor. But I miss you. So I went on the D minor 7th, I'm right, almost at the middle of the page, okay, right there, but I miss you, okay, that D minor 7th, where she says, but I miss you, but, and I went bass 3, twins 3, bass 1, 2, 3, or you can go bass 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, okay, but I miss you, then go to an E 7th, So you could go, you could go six, three, twins, three, five, three, twins, three, stay down low. She doesn't really go up high much on this part, on that E7. Or you could go six, five, four, three, two, three, four, five. That's really pretty too. So she goes, but I, back to seven. I'm going to try to put the words with it. But I miss you. Seventh, we're gonna go. Okay, so that A minor seventh is I'm gonna do this bass three, twins three, because we only have four counts. Are one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna reach up with my ring and I'm gonna grab the sixth string, third fret. I'm gonna grab a new bass note, six, three, twins three, and then I'm gonna take my tall man. What was I doing before? I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to put my, my, I'm going to put on, oh, I know, I was doing it with my thumb. That's true. Or you could reach up and then put an A minor on that way. Either way, you got to do an A minor and somebody's got to hold that sixth string down on the second fret. The easiest way, honestly, is to reach over with your thumb have to add your ring on the third string and your thumb is on the sixth string second fret and so you get you get four beats four beats and eight beats one two three four one two three four one two three four five six seven eight okay so on that eight beats I'm probably gonna go six four three four two three four two just for breaking up to break up the monotony of the same pick okay so let me put it with the words but I miss you most of all, my darling. That's so pretty. Okay, then an F, sh no, not sharp, F seventh. You're barring it's an F, but no pinky, okay? And I'm going to go six, five, four, three, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's really what she's doing there. When autumn leaves, when autumn leaves, then E seventh, the same thing, start to fall, and then you're going to do that same A minor, fall. Okay, she doesn't hold there, okay, she kind of goes. Then she goes right into her guitar interlude, which is a repeat of everything that we've done. So I'm going to just play it really slowly, walking through the chords again, because it'll be a really good review. Here we go. D minor 7th. Walking, so that was a G, then walk up to a C. Then an E seventh, six, five, four, three, two, three, four, five, A minor seven, there's our grip. She does that through the whole song. Then she repeats that. Then G. Or you could do a faster if you wanted to. E7, A minor riff, 
repeat. This is the bottom chunk after the guitar interlude. She comes in on synths, and this is just a repeat of everything we've done. So I'm going to play it through calling out the chords. I don't need to go into detail because I've already done that, okay? So let's go ahead. Since E sus4, that is three, four, five, right? Since you went away. E seventh. Then you're going to do a walk up. Sorry, but I miss, miss, miss you. E seventh. Most of all, A minor seventh. So here's the where I came in on the video. This is a repeat. So we're gonna. This is where you get four, four, and eight, and you're gonna walk our bass note down. Okay. A minor seventh, five, three, twins, three. Then grab six, three, twins, three. What she's doing, but a lot better than I can do. Okay, my darling. No, it's not very pretty. My darling, I'll just talk it. <laughs> my darling. And then hold on, I lost my place. Oh yeah. Then you do that fun little thing where eight beats, and then your F seven bar chord. When autumn leaves, E seven. That coming in on a D major minor seventh. I miss you. E seventh. Most of all. Miss count up to. Actually, here's where she does that fun vocal chord. My darling. I goofed. My, my She doesn't finish eight counts. One, two, three, four, five. And then she holds it. Start two. Then your A minor seventh, the same riff. Five. And then I would just do one strum at the end. I suppose she could grab six, but I focus on five and down. Okay? That's it, all right? Sorry, my battery can't go an extra five minutes. It's so frustrating when it does that, but anyway, it is what it is. So, all right, you can go to rainyguitar.com. You can print that off with the words and the chords and the details that tells you where to walk up, walk down. The two chords, you might not know what I'm talking about, and it's got the pick for that riff, which is that A minor riff, which is so pretty. Anyway, it's a beautiful song. I hope you take the time to learn it if you love it, because it is worth it. I was stunned how much more fun it is to play than the first time I heard it. I thought, wow, that's kind of got weird chords. The more I played it, the more I fell in love with it. It's gorgeous, okay? All right, so go to rainydayguitar.com and print that off and have fun with that one. All right, for more fun songs, go to rainydayguitar.com.